Sirach, chapter 2 and verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Harachai Kwadash for giving me the spirit to do this video. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth and sincerity. They steered us well and they rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect. May the blessing of election be upon your house. This is the brother Zion coming at you with another lesson to feed the lambs through the Holy Spirit. How Rechaakwadash, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and to the point. And in this lesson, all right, and this is just a lamb back from Elder Masha. Okay, he did a video, beautiful video, all right, learning to pain, okay? All right, sometimes, man, you got to love the pain, man, okay? But, you know, Jake, you know, two-thirds of our people, all right, and even... Even Jake's inside the truth, man. You know? Jake want the gain, but no pain. And that's when we have an issue. You know? Because the Lord, in fact, is dealing with those that is being chastened. All right? That if you're not being chastened, then you ain't no son to your high by Shema Washah. If you ain't going through nothing, and you have some type of status in this earth, all right? Just just know that you are, you know, drawing further and further away from your high boss, Shemayahu Okay? Because, you know, you let that money get to your head, man. You let, you know, the love of money is the root of all evil. See, money ain't evil, but it's the love of it that makes it evil, man. And a lot of these people... They are, they are, you know, drawing further and further away from our power because of money, man. All right? Because of their status. All right? So don't think that LeBron James is going to be LeBron, LeBron James in the kingdom because that ain't going to happen. He's going to be a regular schmegler. He got his glory on this side. All right? The true men of the Lord, man, they're going to the, uh, they be the forever celebrities, man. All right? And as you can see, you are starting to see some some brothers not, nah, man, starting to get a little fame in this truth. You understand? All right? And I'm talking about the brothers of Great Millstone, man. I'm not talking about these Hebrew rapping niggas, man. All right? I am not talking about these Hebrew rapping Negroids. I'm talking about the true men of the Lord, man, that got the real lyrics to the song. Them These, these breakdowns, man, that's the real lyrics, you know? But ultimately, you know, gold is going to get tried in the fire, man. And gold holds its form. And ultimately, we pray and hope we that gold. <laughs> All right? Because you're going to have a lot of people that's going to be stubborn in that day, man. All right? The things that Yahweh shot been through, that ain't nothing compared. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, Salakia. The things that we go through ain't nothing compared to what Yahweh shot been through, man. All right? Salakia. I had to rephrase that. You know, but I got this, uh, this, uh, this definition right here called stoic. Okay. And this is a, a word. Okay. That can be applied in your vocabulary also in your life. All right. Stoic. All right. Meaning person who represses feelings or endures patiently. Okay. A person who represses feelings or endures patiently, okay? A person that is being tried through that fire, that furnace of adversity, all right? And that furnace is hot, you know? Sirach, chapter 2 and verse 5, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Now, have you ever seen, uh, there's, there's a show called Forged, uh, Forged in Fire, or forged of fire, something like that. And basically, you know, you will have the forger. He'll have uh, whatever type of metal that he want to forge into something. He'll go ahead and put that metal in the furnace and he'll take it out. And, you know, because you do not leave that, you know what I'm saying, that metal in there burning all day, man. You take it out for a little bit, you examine it, and you put it back in, man. That's how the Lord do us with our adversities. All right, the Lord will put you through something. 
And then after that, you will get delivered out of it. And then you will go through some stuff again, man. All right. Falling down and getting back up. That's the part about being a Jake. That's the part about being Yashar Allah, man. You know, you listening to that little voice in the back of your head telling you to keep going, man. You know, and that is what ultimately we are required to do. I got Sirach chapter two and verse four. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. You see, you got to take cheerfully, man, the things that is brought upon you, man. All right. The water, you know, love. All this pain that you have by Shema Shah giving you. Love it. Learn to love it. All right. Learn to be stoic. You know, you don't want to be like them Jakes that was murmuring in the wilderness. It's hot. I'm hungry. Why are we always walking? Shut the fuck up. You need to be happy that the Lord even putting putting some hell on your life because he ain't got to even do that. The Lord is only dealing with people that actually can actually handle handle things. OK, and if your spirit ain't wired up for that, you need to pray for it and, you know, get actually build it up and gird it up to that. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. The water, you have by Shema Shah. The water, the water, the water, the water. And be patient. You see, that's the key right there. Being patient. Because the Lord said, Woe unto those that have lost patience. When thou art changed to a low estate. Okay? And when you are changed to a low estate, that's just the Lord testing you. All right. You are getting your integrity, constancy, virtue, fidelity tested. All right. And it's ultimately going to be tested with the MOTB. All right. Which is the RFID microchip, man. I said it. So what? The phone tap. And what? I said it. RFID microchip. Now what? So if they clip the video, they clip the damn video. Sick and tired of Esau. Those are some relentless devils, you know. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in, in the furnace of adversity. Okay, so, hey, man, you got to be patient. When you have by Shema was shot, take us down that, you know, straight gate, man. All right. All right. And the word straight means difficult. All right. It's like an obstacle. It's, it means difficult. This is a difficult walk, man. All right. That's why Paul said that uh, that that uh, only if I were a curse from Hamashiach, roughly paraphrasing, meaning that he wished he can go through the same things as our Lord Yahweh Shah, man. And the elder apostles from Great Millstone all the way down to ourselves, we are actually following the route of Yahweh Shah, man. OK. All right. From the elder apostles all the way down to ourselves, we have been taught to follow Yahweh Shah. And Yahweh Shah had a tough life, man. He was stressed. That's why his hair was white like wool, white as snow, man. He was stressed out. You know? So this is a difficult walk, man. All right? But we must be stoic. All right? Who, who, who represses feelings or endures patiently. Okay? That don't mean you just be a complete hard ass and not, you know, vent to a brother. Because sometimes, man, you just got to just vent to a brother, man. I get it all the time, man. Brothers that hit me up, man. And you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, bro, you ain't got to talk. Sometimes you just need to shut the fuck up and just listen to that man talk. You know, because sometimes that's all they want to hear is just a voice. You know what I'm saying? Just to hear that voice and just to, you know what I'm saying, be a brother and just listen, man. You know, because there's a lot of, man, there's a lot of brothers, man. They going through a little bit of everything, man. You got brothers that's got financial issues, all right? They got family emergencies. All right. Family may drop dead, stuff like that. You don't even know, man, what a brother going through. But we're stoic at the end of the day, man. OK, this is just, a, a, you know, like another fiery trial. You know that the Lord is going to take you down. All right. But you must gird up, you know, like the loins of your mind, man. OK, because we got perilous times ahead. All right. And what we're going through right now ain't got nothing on Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble is going to 
it, it's gonna make a break, you know, Jake, man. You know, you either gonna be stubble or you gonna be gold in a, a try in the furnace of adversity. All right. Uh. Let's go to verse 14, Sirach 2 and 14. Woe unto you that have lost patience, you see? So low, woe unto those Israelites that have lost patience, man, all right? They just keep on looking at their damn watch, man. And then they say, hey, man, you're not, you not moving fast enough. And they go back into the world like, like some niggas. That's why the world, you know what I mean? That's why the Lord, Yahweh Shemaiah Washah said, woe unto you that have lost patience, what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Right. Because you're supposed to be believing in this truth, right? You're supposed to be believing in these prophecies, right? If you don't, why the hell are you in the truth, man? Because we got faith, man. Okay? We got faith that we're going to get delivered. We got faith. All right? We got faith that we are, you know what I'm saying, fulfilling the lot of the elect. That's all we got, Jake. All we got is faith. <laughs> That's it. You know, and, and the Lord have even resulted faith into hope. We ain't got no choice but to hope. Come on now. In your previous lives, you were singing swing low, sweet chariot. Whoop, getting your ass whooped on that plantation. Now, all of a sudden in this lifetime, you want to quit? You bitch ass nigga. That's why the Lord need to destroy your ass if you feeling like that. That's why I say, what? Woe unto you that have lost patience. Woe means destruction, death. All right? Point blank period. Verse, verse 17. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts. See, y'all not hearing me. Y'all are not hearing me. Being stoic, you, your, your mind is prepared, man. All right? They that fear the Lord, Yahweh Shah, will, what? Ding, ding, ding. Listen good. Here is the word. Prepare their hearts. That means you're trimming your lamp. That means that you're making yourself ready for the marriage. All right? That means that you are putting yourself in order, man. All right? Through the loins of your mind. And humble their souls, you see, in his sight. See, this scripture just broke down itself, man. That's why Jake need to read it slower. Read the scripture slow. And you're going to pick out words and you're like, wow. This is what the Lord was talking about. Point blank period. Let's go to 2nd Ezra. Chapter 9. Verse 8 shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning and who is he talking about the elect the elect have been sanctified from the beginning man the elect all right Lord willing we are a part of that number all right, that means that you was with Yahweh Shai ever since Genesis 1, man, before Genesis 1. You was actually with him when Genesis 1 was being manifested. That's just beautiful, man. That's beautiful. And Lord willing, we are fulfilling a lot of the elect. All right? Okay, so if you believe on Yahweh Shai, Shai, okay, and you, you do the will of the Father, all right, you will... You will be preserved from these sad perils, man. And peril means imminent danger, man. All right? You will be set aside and kept, all right, in the secret place of Yahweh Shema Shah. And that's this truth. All right? Verse 9, then, then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Okay, so two-thirds of our people, man, that don't want to listen, that don't want to get what the getting's getting, that don't want to seek the Lord ten times more, that's not making sure they're calling and their election is sure, there's a place for your ass, man. 
there's a place for everybody. Yahabah Shema Washa love to be organized. And they like to organize people. That's why he is separating the sheep from the goats. All right, the goats on the left hand side, his sheep is on the right. Okay, and, and you know, and, and, you know, you're gonna be tormented with ICBM nuclear fire, man. Okay. Verse 10, for such as in their life have received benefits, right? And these niggas do receive benefits. These two third niggas. Okay. They have received many benefits. And that's why they have drawn themselves away from Yahabash and Mahawashai. As we just brought out earlier. For as such as in their life have received benefits, right? They they got that cash assistance. Okay. They get uh what food stamps. They get a lot of benefits from Esau Edom, man, to help sustain something that they man supposed to be doing, something that Jacob supposed to be doing for themselves, but we in captivity. All right. The scriptures say we will be subject on the payments. All right. But these devils, all right, these black ass Edomites, all right, out of all of these benefits and, you know, gifts that destroy the heart that they receive. Ding, 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 and have not known me. Exactly. So you did all of that, and you still don't know y'all about Shema So what you think going to happen to you? Two-third, Jake. If you don't repent, and mind you, these doors of mercy is shutting real fast. So don't think that you just got time to get this money and your shit together at the same time. No. You have to make a conscious decision. What in the fuck are you going to do, Jake? Because I'm sick and tired of y'all niggas, man. Oh, bro, I'm sick and tired of y'all. Y'all are just a waste of, of, of Jake. You two-third niggas. That's why the Lord said y'all got to die. And look, though, y'all going to be forced to get it right in the kingdom. Because y'all just still rebellious. It's all hell, man. Verse 11. And they that have loath my law, you see, loath my law, when you go going to loath, loath means a strong dislike or hate, hatred towards. And they do hate the law, man. Jake always want to find a loophole. They always got to find a loophole or something. A loophole to where they can still commit wickedness because in their hearts, they don't, they can't do good, but they're wise to do wickedness, man. You know, Jake can tell you how to bust a brick down 15 different ways, but can't tell you how to bust these scriptures down, though. But they can teach you how to bust a brick. They know how long to put the crack in, in the microwave folder. They know how to whoosh it with a fork. They know how to do all. They are wise to do wickedness, but in them is, is they can't they can't do nothing good. They not finna send no brother no arms and, and, and just expect nothing back. I works hard for my monies. You can keep this $7.50. I don't even want that shit. They are wise to do evil, man. And that's why they got to die here. Because they loaf the law. You know what I'm saying? Following the, law, following the laws of Yahweh Shema was shy ain't grievous. You're not going to be saved by it. You're going to be justified through faith. You're not going to be saved by it, but, but you got to follow it. It's a part of our heritage. Point, point blank, period. While they yet had liberty, woo, see, liberty is going into grace, man. Okay? And they got grace. The two-thirds of our people got grace. The only people that ain't got grace is these heathens and Esau. They ain't got shit but slavery coming. Uh, you know, grace was only given to Israel, man. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, West Seminole Indians, all right, of uh, of a Negroid Western Indian descent, man. All right. The Lord gave you grace. While they yet had liberty, right, going down there to pulling off in McDonald's and you know, getting your nails did and got now going to the uh going to the damn uh grocery store and getting oil changes and shit. You still got liberty, right? You can still go to the bar and do all of this shit. 
go to a Grizzlies game and you hit up a football game and roll tight, right? And when when as yet a place of repentance was open on to them, right? Because I because I, I know y'all be walking past camps. I know y'all be walking past the prophets. I know y'all be walking past us on the highways and hedges teaching. And that's your place of repentance. That's your place to get born again. Not in no motherfucking church. You can't get born again in no motherfucking church, man. The you know what I'm saying? The spirit of Yahweh not even in there. Point blank period. Point blank period. They have received benefit. Okay, it's a, uh, it was open on to them, understood not, but despised it, right? They can't understand shit because, mind you, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, you know what I'm saying? The ways of the Lord is simple unto the holy, but it's a stumbling block onto the wicked. You see what I'm saying? They, so, that, so that means they will never understand it. They'll just be looking up at the ceiling, dumbed in a motherfucker, fucking ears ringing, <laughs> don't know what the fuck going on. It's boring. Okay. And they actually despise the word, man. And that's why you got to die here. The same must know it. Let me say that. The same must. So it's going to happen, man. See, man, y'all be skipping over little words, man. The same must know it. So it's going to happen for you. After death by pain, right, ICBM nuclear fire is what you got waiting for you. And you're not going to get a, um, you know, a, a, a pre predisposition, okay? They are not going to, you even if they did give you a predisposition, you probably had got about, about 20 minutes to tell whoever you love that you love them because that's about it. Cause you're done. If you, if you're not in that chariot door, you're done. If you're not trimming your laps, you're done. D O N to the fucking E. If you're not on the right side of that chariot door when them bombs drop, you're done. That go for me. That go for everybody else. That's why it's important to that this truth ain't nothing to play with. This truth is really nothing to play with. To be honest. And they be just acting like we just some niggas with a Bible. Uh, no. Can't you actually see what the hell is going on? Come on, huh? Can't, like, do you understand the words that is coming out of our mouth, motherfucker? We have been saying everything, man, from the elder apostles, from the big foe, all the way down to us, man. Everything we've been saying been coming to pass. That should obviously tell you something, man. And you got IUIC that change up the doctrine as the prophecies unfold. Because at first he was saying that, you know what I'm saying, man, first on top of that, he was calling on Yahweh Shema was shy. Then after that, he started getting a little money. He started saying Christ. And then after that, he got real damn sick, real, real, real bad. And now all of a sudden, after he got done, done being sick, now all of a sudden he's saying that that the RFID microchip is the mark. And now he said, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Bishop Nate, yo ass is Judas the Iscariot reincarnated. I said it. That's who the fuck you is, man. Through the spirit, yo ass is Judas the Iscariot. The, you know what I'm saying? The ones that took the shekels of silver and, you know what I'm saying, man, dropped the addy on our Lord, man. He got that spirit, that old shiesty ass spirit, man. All right? With all of this mirth and all this type of shit in their camps. What type of, you know what I'm saying, shit that they going through? What type of adversity do you know what I'm saying? These other camps going through, man. Look at these lavish ass Passovers, like, man, they already in the kingdom and they just drove there and flew there and, and you know what I'm saying, man, caught a damn boat there, man. You didn't get there via chariot. So why the fuck are you having a lavish damn Passover? And women ain't even supposed to be invited to Passover any damn way. This ain't no lamb dinner, man. This is a solemn assembly and it's serious business. And every time, every year go by, we just laughing at you other camps, man. Because we are just looking at y'all like false prophets, because that's what the fuck y'all is, man. Come on, now. Purple bag bandits. 
For I reckon that some, this is Romans 8 and 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Okay. So all the stuff we going through ain't got nothing for what we are, we about to go through, go through. Cause we about to go through some shit, y'all. All right. We finna go through a serious furnace and the Lord going to let us in there for a little bit too. He going to leave that door closed for a little bit. Then after that, he going to take us out, examine us, and then he going to cool us off. You know, they call it quench. You know? But the Lord is definitely going to, you know, put us in that furnace for a little bit, move that little pole around in there a little bit. Then he going to take it out, and then he going to quench it. Yeah, this the, uh, this the shape I wanted. That's what he going to do to the elect. But everybody else going to be stubble, man. So if you ain't going through nothing now and you ain't used to going through nothing now, you're going to have a hard time in Jacob's trouble if you ain't never been through nothing now. You got Jake and all that crying because they ain't eight in eight hours. The average person can't even eat, go without eating three hours without turning into Betty White, man. All right? Let's go to... uh. Second Ezra seven and fourteen. Second Ezra seven and fourteen. If then they that live labor not to enter these straight and vain things, they can never receive those that are laid up for them. Right. So if you know straight is difficult. So if you can't go through difficult stuff, how the hell are you gonna be worthy to get a crown? So let me guess, you just going to have it easy and everybody else got to go through everything? No, that's not how it works. Everybody going to be going through some deep doo-doo before they get on that chariot, man. Believe that. And you're going to be completely denigified in the process. All right? Point blank period. We got 2 Timothy. Chapter 2 and verse 10. Therefore, I endure all the things for the elect's sake. Okay. And you know what I'm saying? That's why Yahweh got tortured, man. All right. He did, man. He got, man, crucified. That's probably the worst way to die, man, is getting crucified. That is the worst way to go out. Like, that is actually a practice that these Romans, uh, used to practice man they used to practice crucifixion man as a form of punishment that's how they killed people you know and that's suffering man all right that they may also obtain the salvation which is in hamashiach yahweh with eternal glory see look man we got to go through stuff man all right you must be stoic okay don't be wearing your feelings on your sleeve. This is what we got to go through. This is what we got to go through for right now. You know, you work hard, you play hard. Because best believe in that kingdom, man, once you get that yayan and, you know what I'm saying, man, you got that gold cup and you with all them diamonds on it and you, you know what I'm saying, put that yayan with all that firmament <laughs> in, that, in that wine. Cause you know, that wine been sitting now. That wine sip, sitting. Yahweh ain't sipping no wine. He gonna sip his wine with his men. You know? Point blank period. When you put that wine in your lips, you gonna be like, whoo, I'm telling you, you gonna be instantly buzzed. Just like that. You're like, dang, Yahweh Shai, why you had to do me like that, man? <laughs> you feel me? You gonna be like, whoo, feeling good, man. And that is when we can say we fought the good fight of faith, man. When we on that chariot holding fast to which thou hast, and no man take thy crown. And we had that crowning ceremony in the chariot. And you got that crown on your head, sipping yon yon with Yahweh Shah. Lord willing, we are part of that number. The governing body. Woo! Not a blemish on our wedding garment. Woo! Clean. You know? That is when we can say we fought the good fight of faith. You know, that is when we can say we 
have fought the good fight, y'all. You know? And I'm going to see y'all on that chariot, too. Watch. And we're going to be on that chair. We're going to laugh it all off, too, man. Like, whoo, man, I thought I was out of there. You know? Because, mind you, the righteous shall scarcely be saved. All right? I got John chapter 15. I'll close out with this. John chapter 15 and verse 13. Greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. All right? And when you go into that word friends, friends mean brother, man. Okay, and that's a noble thing, man, to go out, man, for your for your brethren, man. All right, because Yahweh did it for us. Shit, man, that's an ultimate sacrifice right there. And if you don't think that's an ultimate sacrifice, shame on you and die here. Yahweh died for us, man. He have literally extended his own arm, man. All right, and put his neck on the line for us, man. All right, so we must do the same for Yahweh that's why you got to know what you signed up for. You know? All right. So, Lord willing, this lesson has been edifying and to the point. I want to give the glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Yahweh for giving me the spirit to do this video. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that taught us this truth and sincerity. They steered us well and they rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect. May the blessing of election be upon your house. Hakwam Shah Yasha Allah. Hakwam Shah Yasha Allah. Hakwam Shah Yasha Allah. Shemai Yasha Allah. Yahweh. Alahayanawa. Yahweh. Achud. Shemai Yasha Allah. Yahweh. Alahayanawa. Yahweh. Achud. Shemai Yasha Allah. Yahweh. Alahayanawa. Yahweh. Achud. Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Barak Ka Akim, Rapa Ka Akim, Chazak Ka Akim, Shamar Mespachaya, Akim Agwatim Wabayim, Shah Yasha Allah, Batachaywa, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Shalach Magapayim, Adawamim, Wahawashaywa, Abad Baba, Abad Baba, Abad Baba, DTA soon, Abad Baba. Shalom.